Hi, welcome again to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show about uh, a few examples on not MCU ASP8266 with the Blink app application. Uh, first of all, let's look how the Blinks works. Okay, uh, as you can see here, the Blinks app is installed in your uh, phone. Right, and then you can use it to control the IoT device. Okay, uh, the example of IoT device is like the Arduino, Raspberry Pi, or not MCU, right? It's shown here. And how it works? That means uh, the Blink app it will send the data, alright, through the Blink server, right, to the IoT device. And at the same time, if you have uh, an input, right, that connected to the uh, IoT device, so you can send back uh, through the Blink server to the Blink apps, okay? And then uh, the Blink app have a few pins, which is the digital, analog, and virtual. Uh, digital pin is referred to the uh, hardware pin that's... Uh, uh, have at the IoT device, right? And then the analog did that uh, is referred to the analog pins of the IoT device. And the final one is the virtual pin is not um we call it is not an uh, hardware pin. It's like a virtual. That means it is used if you want to send uh, um a few. Uh, data right so uh, the blink app provided uh, a lot of pins for virtual okay and this is the example of the blink apps right it consists a few uh, we call it a uh, uh, widget right so for example the widget button one and then widget button two okay so uh, this is example of the IoT uh, device with a few input, right, and output. So right now it have the input a push button here, and then the output which is the LED. So when the push button is pressed, the not MCU will send um, some uh, data uh, to um, to make this indicator. For example, this button will uh, turn on, right? And at the same time, uh, from the uh, Blink app, you also can uh, control uh, this LED through this button. When you press this button, so this LED will turn on and turn off. And for the Blink app, it will use uh, the uh, pin name at uh, I show here GPIO 16, 5 and so on, right? Is is um, different when you uh, program uh, the not MCU using the Arduino DE. So normally you will use uh, this pin number D, uh, D0, D1 and so on. Okay, for the Blink app, you will use this outside pin. Alright. Uh, on this video, I'm going to show a few examples uh, such as uh, slider uh, widget, right, that used to control the LED brightness. And then example two, uh, use the same slider widget to control the LED brightness and several more two. And we have a few uh, example on the LED uh, widget to, uh, for example, if you have the IR sensor, right, that are connected to the uh, digital input of the uh, IoT device, or uh, in in my case is uh, not MCU, okay, and we and then on that one we can know that whether the IR sensor it that uh, detect uh, some object or not, okay, and then we also can display the value if we have the uh, analog input, right. Uh, for example, the uh, potential meter, right? And then the final one, I'm also um, prepare some example when you want to use the uh, gas uh, uh, widget, right? To display the 
uh, temperature sensor. Alright, let's go to the example one. Slider widget to control the LED brightness that based on the PWM output. Alright, uh, in this example, we uh, construct a simple circuit that contain the node MCU and also the LED as the output which is connected into pin D7 which is referred to the GPIO 13 okay and then the LED brightness will be controlled based on the PWM uh, function okay and then uh, on the blink app uh, we will have a, a slider uh, widget right and then this slider we send uh, the data from 0 to 1023 to the node MCU and then uh, based on this data it will send to the uh, LED through the PWM function alright so let's create project on the Blink app uh, first you go to the new project and then you can put the name for example PWM LED and then we select the device so in this case we use the node MCU uh, ESP8266 so we need to select this one and then we select the uh, connection type which is the Wi-Fi and then we press the create and then you will get an email right uh, that show the authorization token right it will send to the uh, your uh, registered email when you uh, first time install the Blink app. This is the example of the uh, authorization token. Alright, so uh, before this, uh, we create a, a slider widget, then we choose to uh, connect it to the virtual pin V0. Okay, so how to uh, configure this? Okay, first uh, you tap this one, it will um, pop up uh, this one, right? And then you can change the name, you can put the slider one, and then this one you can choose the virtual pin, right? For example, this one I choose uh, V0, and also you can uh, change the value, right? So in this case, I just maintain this value 0 to 1023, right? And also you can change whether you want to show a value or not in this uh, widget, okay? Alright, and that's it, right? The final one will be like this one. Okay, so let's uh, construct the circuit, right? Okay, done. Then let's do this program. Okay, let me explain uh, this program is about. Uh, on this program, what you need to do is you need to copy the authorization token that I be sent to your email. You put it here, and then after that, you need to change this uh, SSID, right? Change it to the uh, name of your Wi-Fi ID, right? Your network, and then put in the password. And then we declare uh, one variable, let's say I put the LED1 equal to D7, we connected to D7. 
and then because you use the virtual pin that's mean uh, you need to write this function blink uh, let's call right v0 okay and then uh, you will use this function so this function it used to read any data uh, come from the blink app all right and then it will save into one variable named value and then we can check that value so we can display it in a serial monitor serial monitor sorry and then we also can pass that value to the led in order to control the brightness so we use the analog right which is the pwm function okay and then on the uh, setup function so you just initialize the serial uh, right serial port this one so that you can display the data to the uh, serial monitor and then we also initialize the uh, blink server okay so by starting this one and inside the loop function so you just need to call blink dot run okay after you have upload your program so you can open the serial monitor and you will see this message if you don't see this message you can press the reset button of the uh, not mcu and then you will get this message if you get this message that's mean that your blink app right which is mean that um uh, that's mean your Blink app and with your IoT device is uh, connected successfully. Alright, and then after that, you need to uh, tap play button to run the uh, the Blink program. And then when you play around with this slider, you will see that the LED brightness will be changed. Now, you will see that the LED brightness will be changed if you uh, move this slider to the right and also to the left. 